Coming to our today's agenda, we are going to have a brief overview on the mentioned topics like the oneness introduction to Salesforce Health Cloud, Cloud uh, Org Setup, Data Model, CAR Coordination, Relationship Card, Benefit Verification, Utilization Management, Health Timeline in Health Cloud, so introduction to Salesforce Health Cloud. So Salesforce Health Cloud is a cloud-based uh, healthcare solution developed by Salesforce designed to enhance the patient management and care coordination efficiently. So it was officially launched in Feb 2015 on the top of service cloud. Its main aim was to extend the feature of the service cloud. So later it just developed into a separate cloud. So it holds both uh, clinical and non-clinical data about a patient that provide a complete and detailed picture about their health and as well as care. So the clinical and non-clinical are nothing but. So clinical mostly include like data like diagnosis, uh, treatment plans, lab results, patients, medical histories and so on so whereas non-clinical uh, data are uh, the additional data such as patient demographics for example age gender and the contact details so it will also include the lifestyle factors living conditions and the appointment histories and so on in the non-clinical part so it is used for uh, maintaining both the clinical and non-clinical data in in a single platform so like uh, i hope able to you are able to see the healthcare seekers and its evolution so from this view like the healthcare seekers so from this view you will be able to identify the primary stakeholders of Salesforce Health Cloud, such as doctors, hospitals, clinics, diagnostic labs, home healthcare services, physiotherapist, psychologist, and corporates. You might wonder, like, uh, how corporates are linked. So, like, uh, the uh, like seekers other than corporates are moreover directly uh, linked to the healthcare sectors, like doctors, physiotherapists, and all other things. But how corporates? So, to like, if, if you get such a uh, doubt, so for example, so health and insurance industry can also leverage uh, cloud to manage member data. To, to handle claims and coordinate their has, uh, uh, care services with the like their employees. So in that case, uh, the corporates will also get you know, get linked to the healthcare part. So like additionally, you can also observe the health cloud how it is evolved over years. So as I told you, like it was launched in 2015 over the service uh, on the top of the service cloud. They started uh, focusing on uh, particular sectors uh, year by year. So initially, they started focusing on uh, providers that is vitamin D16. So like they are nothing but providers or nothing but uh, like doctors nurses and the specialist comes under the providers sector like it it, it is like a, a part you can differentiate them so when you go when uh, so once after the concentrating on providers they started extended their functionality to payers also so payers are nothing but the insurance uh, companies who offer insurance all those things so to they added functionalities so how these uh, payers can also get benefited so like coming to the next one is pharma and medtech so pharma and medtech these two are nothing but uh, you might be familiar like pharma is nothing but pharmaceuticals and medtech is nothing but that medical equipments like uh, pharma includes uh, manufacturing or the production of uh, uh, medicines like it includes like that and the medtech is nothing but uh, the production or manufacturing the equipments required for the uh, like the health sectors so they uh, started concentrating on this pharma and medtech in 2019 so it was helpful for them so like uh, when you come after like 2020 it, they basically started focusing on public health it is like basically on government based hospitals and all other things so like currently their main focus is on the public health uh, part so i hope you are able to see the companies like uh, a view where i have listed on the uh, set of companies uh, so like uh, from this view uh, these are the several well known us based healthcare organization that are using the salesforce health cloud and observe how beneficial it was for example mimit is a provider based uh, sector like where uh, by using the salesforce health cloud they were able to get benefited by 30 percentage increase in the operational efficiency in addition they were also the uh, they have also mentioned that nine plus days reduction in the procedure of scheduling time like a uh, schedule time is nothing but if they want to schedule appointments for their patients like uh, it may be a new patient or the existing patient their follow-up so it reduced their uh, like uh, scheduling time also so coming to the next uh, company like uh, it is Horizon. so like it is a payer based that's an insurance based company so like uh, they also mentioned uh, like it is a uh, uh, about they were able to save 400 plus hours like per uh, per period uh, like because of using the salesforce health cloud that includes like uh, similarly like appointment scheduling patients health uh, fall, uh, he following up with the health treatments uh, which is undergoing by the uh, patients and all other things so like uh, it also they mentioned like it also improved outcomes for high risk members so they were able to concentrate uh, uh, well on the high risk patients uh, follow ups and the appointment schedules and all other things main things so like coming to the next company uh, like it is a medtech based 
company which is smile direct club so they mentioned that they were able to uh, increase uh, their uh, support volume about 10% so do uh, like uh, even if you have like a uh, a large number of members to take care of the uh, like a support needed for the patients uh, because of the irregular uh, data information or the track they they may not be able to do it properly so once after using the health cloud they were able to track all the cases efficiently and uh, just update the status uh, of uh, each case the the client, uh, the patient is um, experiencing so the next company is novartis so which is a pharma based company so they mentioned that they were able to uh, like fasten the uh, cat programs like three times so imagine like how it has increased uh, like because of using the sales for health, uh, health cloud so they also mentioned that 87% uh, rio is nothing but the return on investment on the operational cost so like it is ready uh, like it is reducing the amount spending time and also it is giving a high returns because of using the sales for self cloud and this public health is nothing but the normal uh, like clinics or uh, hospitals so they were they mentioned that they were able to take 2.7 million uh, uh, like uh, patients care properly and uh, they were able to track uh, the uh, two week vaccine solutions uh, properly so from this like these are very few like these are uh, i just took uh, for an example like these are very well known companies so i just wanted you to know like how uh, salesforce health cloud is used in various industries uh, and how it is helpful for them so like based on the time permits like i will also share you the uh, like the success stories uh, of the uh, companies by using the salesforce health cloud so next let us move on to uh, org setup so before that i hope like now we got like what is actually salesforce health cloud is uh, and how it is uh, beneficial and how it will benefit the uh, present and the future uh, health sector sites okay then let's move with uh, org setup so like uh, salesforce health cloud offers uh, like three editions basically like one is enterprise the second one is unlimited and the third one is einstein one for services so they are basically priced at 325 uh, 500 and 700 dollars respectively so like uh, additionally they are uh, there are also add ons for the additional uh, editions what they whatever they have given so the, uh, those add ons are purchased only based on the business requirement and the client uh, query so like uh, for our learning purpose uh, like i can uh, like we can create a, a 30 days free trial uh, health cloud org so which is offered by the salesforce itself so like uh, i will share you the link in the chat so that uh, you you all can uh, use that and explore on how so like once after clicking the link you will be navigating this uh, page so when you scroll a little bit down so you will be able to see uh, sign up for the salesforce developer editions so like i hope uh, when you get log in you are able to see that so like when you click inside that there will be uh, they they will be asking for the certain uh, like details like primary details so like first name email and all those things just username is your wish so like based on that uh, you can fill the details and agree with the uh, like their agreements and policies and once if you click on the sign up you will be receiving a mail uh, so where uh, so from that mail uh, you will be getting the link to the org so from that you can access the health cloud so like it may uh, like you may get the notification that uh, the uh, check your email that uh, you have you might have received that but there may be few delays at certain times to get that email like not much like around uh, like a 10 to half an hour it may be that's it so like uh, you will receive the mail within that period so that you can further you can use on that okay so however i'll be noting uh, i'll be not using the uh, learning session because i already have the uh, salesforce health cloud demo org so like if uh, like few uh, there may be like when you uh, look into the session and when you look into the learning org there may be few uh, difference in the ui because obviously salesforce will provide in such way so only it is for the trial purpose uh, so it will be like that so but anyway the all the concepts will be same so like uh, i'll be using uh, the demo health org uh, for this session so like uh, when installing like uh, for now when you uh, get into the learning app uh, like everything will be already set up but when the client or when in the future when you try to install the uh, cloud package into your uh, like a, um, like a main org the source org like there you have to follow up few uh, pre prerequisites like uh, without uh, meeting up the prerequisites you may uh, like you may receive or you may not able to uh, install the package properly into the org so the, uh, those prerequisites include uh, enabling person accounts allowing shared contacts enabling charter 
and ensuring enabling data protection uh, and privacy which will be there in the org so i can just navigate to the org and uh, quickly show you like where you have to go and how can you check one sec it is getting low. okay i hope you are able to see my org screen so first uh, prerequisite i mentioned to you all is the enabling person account so like once after navigating into the uh org you have to click on the gear icon and if you click on the setup you will be navigating this to this particular page this ui so on the quick find box you just uh, search for person account hope you are able to see so once clicking into the person account okay so once if you get into the person account uh like you'll be uh i hope you are able to see my screen like it, it shows like person accounts enabled in certain ops that is before installation uh in most of the ops it might be disabled if it is disabled you have to enable it before the installation of the uh sales for self-cloud package so the next one i told you is on enabling charters so similarly when you search for charter so like here you will uh you you you'll be able to see the charter settings when you click on that one sec the org is a bit slow okay i hope you are able to see so like uh, here you will be you might able to see the uh, charter settings turn on the charter settings and the global search features uh, you have given to the uh, head start like you can see this description so like you have to check whether this setting is enabled or not if it is not enabled you have to enable it before the installation okay the next next thing i show uh, like uh, i the prerequisite i told you is on the shared contacts contact center settings Okay, here also uh, I I hope you are able to see like uh, this uh, contact health uh, uh, contact center for the health cloud is enabled. Uh, so the uh, like if uh, like once before the installation you have to check like whether the contact center for the health cloud is enabled or not. So if it is not enabled, you have to enable it. So the final prerequisite is on the data protection. So on the quick find box, search for the so and under the company settings you will be able to see the data protection and privacy. So once in uh, when you get into that, uh, you can see this screen like data protection privacy. give access to the data protection privacy in the lead contact and the person account records like uh, here it is enabled so i just made data protection details available in the records so if it is not you have to uh, just check them or make them true or enable them so before the in, in, uh, like installation of the salesforce so these are the main prerequisites uh, before in uh, like installing the salesforce health cloud package so like uh, since it is the developer org like and i can also show you like the uh, how the users uh, license available uh, and all other uh, permission sets permission set groups and all other things over here so like like uh, i have logged in as the user as, as pradeep chandran so like uh, he is a system admin and i have given all the required access uh, like uh, access for him so like uh, from this user i can tell you like uh, what are the uh, basic and the uh, basic permission sets or the uh, like licenses required so so when you come for the permission sets so like i hope you are able to see the uh, permission sets uh, that are available and it is enabled for the uh, particular user you can uh, tell me so like uh, these are the permission sets currently i have uh, assigned to uh, the this particular pradeep chandran user so like uh, this includes for example uh, omni studio i have given access to omni studio marketing and like these are uh, health cloud apis like utilization management which i said like we'll be discussing uh, discussing on this particular topic Uh, in the future like uh, in the today session itself so i have enabled this uh, permission sets to him uh, like appointment management it is basically required for scheduling appointments for the uh, patients so like uh, once they have if they want to have the access they can go with that so fsl is also there and uh, data cloud admin care plans like it is care plans are nothing but the plans uh, which are there are related to the patients so the, for creating and accessing those plans we have to assign the care plans permission sets so like uh, these are the uh, like mandatory or like which which are required uh, for this our today session so apart from this you are having uh, like large uh, permission sets like you can access account engagement also account engagement and part art and there are all other uh, permission sets you can explore that on the uh, like uh, the learning app so for now uh, like these are the permission sets required okay let me now show you the licenses once again it is getting loaded these are the permission sets licenses see the basic permission sets are like a uh, health cloud platform uh, platform license and the permission sets license are the basic ones so apart from that uh, you have uh, like two many permission sets uh, like which will be installed uh, during the package installation itself like for example it is uh, based on the analytics platform and uh, like business for sale tap okay car plans to give license them so these are the okay these are uh, this health cloud and uh, health cloud and uh, health cloud platform these are the uh, main uh, like are uh, the basic uh, permission sets required for the users to access many of the records in our uh, salesforce health cloud org 
so like uh, here they will be mentioning uh, on all the user permissions like uh, having this license or uh, like what are the object permissions they will be having and what are the uh, user permissions they will be having uh, so like it not be uh, just uh, given to you all in detail but uh, just uh, like you can like these are the just know like these are the basic ones and if you are not able to access any of the uh, like uh, functionalities you are working on the um, like while working on learning work you can just uh, once verify do you have that license or do you have that particular permission to access that particular object or the functionality okay so i hope you are uh, clear with the permissions permission sets and all other things so now let's move on to the next topic that is health cloud data model so like uh, when you get into the uh, it is like a complete separate cloud you will you'll be having so many to explore in that health cloud like there are, there will be lot of objects apps uh, like permission sets you'll be having a lot so like uh, for now i'll be giving you the basic and uh, objects and fields to be known because uh, you might see like uh, most of the objects may look similar uh, like uh, there will be with similar names with slight uh, modifications you it may look like for the same purpose but it is actually for uh, uh, each objects has its own purpose so like uh, by uh, by just giving an overview on the health model like the listed down health model you will be able to know like which object should uh, use for the scenario so like uh, so health cloud data model is based on the standard salesforce object model so like uh, understanding the data model is essential for the successful implementation and the adoption of health cloud so uh, so that's it so like uh, today i'll be explaining about the health models uh, like on the household health model clinical data model insurance and claims data model program management data model social determinants data model utilization data model so our first data model is household data model so uh, health cloud uh, uses household data model to present present the patient and the relationship with the people who participate in their care that is the patient's care for example uh, in our uh, for the uh, upcoming scenarios let, let us take a uh, smith as the patient now so a uh, household is a client of the old salesforce account and like salesforce account with the house household record type the household is related to the uh, contact part of the individual using the account contact relationship hope you are able to see this uh able to see the screen so like this is the account uh, contact relationship uh, so the contact can be related to the different contacts for example now the patient can be uh, john smith so like uh, his wife is mary so both are contacts they are related by contact contact relationship in the salesforce health cloud so i can also show you the objects like these objects in the side by side so that you'll be on a way to search and where you can navigate so i hope you are able to see the off screen so when you click on this app launcher icon so be uh, seeing a view all options in the gear uh, like uh, in the app launcher icon so once you click into that <clears throat> so you'll be able to see all the apps available uh, and all the objects as i already told you there are uh, there will be so many uh, objects and the apps for each purpose uh, uh, this uh health cloud is defined in a like very defined manner like for example i have told you in the itself about the pharma medtech uh, payers so how they formed is like uh, if it is for the pharma sectors they can pharma side people can directly use this uh, particular app where there be list of objects linked to that they can directly use them so like if if it is a different are the uh, like medafast call centers the uh, medtech will be using those so these are uh, apps which are which will be available in the health cloud org so like once you get into this search just we will search for the account in the search okay so like mm, okay so like i hope you are able to see the screen like the list of account like uh, in the when you look into the salesforce uh, sales cloud and all those things you'll be a ma maximum you'll be able to uh, see like one account object and few of the account object related to that particular account uh, main account object so like when you come to the health cloud there are so many objects like with so many unique purposes like i can just give a very short uh, like uh, on the purpose on each object so that it will be useful for you so like uh, um, so if you need the description in detail you can let me know so i can explain that uh, in detail also so like this account uh, we have uh, in the uh, in uh, in the like in the powerpoint i have told you account contact relationship under uh, contact contact relationship no so okay you might see account contact relationship over here account account relationship contact contact ah, okay okay these are the things so i can also explain you like uh, give an overview on each uh, object so account account relationship defines the connection between the accounts within the system so whereas uh, like account con account account relationships this captures and stores account balance information on the specific point in time 
so this snapshot like account balance snapshots captures and stores account balance information at a specific point in time so like uh, the account branch next coming to the account branch like uh, this associates a specific brand with accounts for the brand management so these are uh, like these kind of data are stored in the account brand object so coming to the uh, account engagement campaigns it track campaign targeted to engaging specific account so uh, obviously you might uh, be familiar with the word like campaigns they'll be running campaigns for different peoples like in here like campaigns will also be applicable for the patients I, like moving forward i will explain you like how it is linked so what kind of uh, like campaigns we can create so next coming to the uh, account engagement email this manages uh, like these are not related like these are related to account engagement okay okay account service preference so it stores the account specific preferences related to the service offered okay these account setup is the initial setup and the configuration details of the new account is created account object mainly handles the it is a general repository for all the account information within the system so advanced account forecast uh, facts or nothing but it gives a, a detailed view on the data used for the advanced forecasting of uh, account related metrics like it is like moreover you can imagine like a dashboard so like coming to the next one the account uh, advanced account uh, forecast set users so that is specific users of the data and insights generated from the advanced account forecasting so like uh, an advanced version it is like so asset account participants is nothing but so it is nothing but individuals and entities participating in the asset account so the next one is uh, created accounts or nothing but the records of the accounts that have been newly created in the system so glr accounts are these are also similar to the specific kind of accounts uh, linked to the uh, patients so merchant accounts uh, are nothing but accounts related to the merchants like if the uh, account like if the client is uh, completely merchant based like payment processing so they can store uh, that details in this merchant account object so this one the so um, visual remote assistant account detail so it gives you the detailed view of account information via the visual remote assistant so this need not be concentrated in detail now so like these are the account related objects uh, which are available in the health cloud account account relationship can uh, like defines the connection between the different accounts if there are many uh, accounts like it gives the uh, relationship like one if there are for example uh employees everyone are employee but there may be lead uh, and uh, the uh, trainers are below that everyone so it is like imagine like a self uh, like self lookup so like uh, the second one account relationships or like what kind of relationship are they in so that will be stored in the separate account account relationships so like in the uh, household uh, data model we also saw about the contact uh, contact relationship right okay then like these are the contact related objects available in the uh, salesforce health cloud so like um, i can give you a short overview on this also so this contact uh, contact relationship is similarly what i told in the account account relations so this defines the relationship between the contacts but whereas contact contact relationship defines the like uh, detail the type and the nature of the relationship that uh, relationship so contact encounters or nothing but uh, records interactions and in like the encounters involving the contacts like interactions they'll be tracking over here so these other things contact profiles so contact first is the request made by or the contact for such information or services related uh, things will be stored over here so for the patients if they are making a, a request to the contact uh, to the related uh, contact of the patient so those details and the records will be stored in this particular contact request object so basically contact you might have known uh, for example this in our case uh, smith's wife mary as uh, will be also stored as a contact so these ehr is nothing but electronic health record system so you might have heard somewhere in the uh, if you're like if you're like have a good knowledge on health sector so these uh, other things are not needed uh, record now so let's keep for now so that's it on a household data model so like we can just move to the next data model so next is the clinical data model so here uh, so here a clinical data model is nothing but let's take an example and so for example here you may see a basic like objects you might be familiar like lead case problems goals and task i can explain you like for example let uh, like a smith, uh, let us take the patient as smith itself like if he is coming uh, to the hospital with a leg injury so imagine like that so like leg injury he'll be so that is generated as a case initially so the case teams related to those are like uh, case teams includes the the uh, the nurse uh, who's uh, like initially uh, just taken up him so the doctors who's responsible for the treatment uh, for the smith and you even other uh, like uh, the like contact details related to the uh, like a uh, case can also be related here so the actual problem is uh, he is suffering from a leg injury like uh, he may be athlete due to a uh, heavy exercise he is let's imagine like that so like he is having a like like uh, there is an uh, like there is a problem with this leg
like so he was not able to uh, walk properly so that is the actual problem so our main goal at these everything are separate objects so imagine like so this goal is like so what is our goal now so like once the smith comes into the hospital like uh, the obvious goal for the uh, doctor or the nurses might be like we should make him uh, come out of the uh, like the suffering what he is facing now like like for example if he is not able to walk properly we should make him walk properly so that is what the goal so task is like what are the things required to make the uh, the goal achieved for example uh, like uh, treatment like we have to undergo treatment like what kind of treatment as it like uh, by medicine can be solved or like uh, it does it need uh, like any therapist or physiotherapist or some other one uh, for uh, for treating him so those kind of list of task that is needed to achieve the goal will be listed down in the task so the these are like main uh, objects in the clinical data model so other things are most of probably similar like programs or nothing but uh, like uh, if like uh, many of the companies will be organizing cat programs like like uh, on the uh, health related things like they'll be telling you like how you have to take care of your own health so uh, like what kind of exercise you have to do like what food intake you have you have to do so how like what kind of medicines or the natural therapy you have to do to uh, like keep this thing proper so these programs if anything is related to that it will be automatically linked to the respective patient so like i can show you these clinical data related uh, objects in the org i hope you are able to see uh, see the org screen now okay these are clinical encounter facilities okay let me see like what are the objects like uh, now are you able to see the list of objects uh, that are related to clinical so like uh, these are the object like clinical alerts so like coming to uh, like this you might not seen in the data model so in the data model i have just given you the basic um, like objects required for the like the required for the clinical part so here are the list of like objects which are completely related to the clinical side so like clinical alerts or nothing but the notifications uh, about the uh, critical patients or the information required uh, like like uh, like we can store the notification if there is a critical thing have to be done so we can store those notifications over there in the clinical alerts so coming to the clinical dent issue details so specific information about the health issues identified during the clinical assessment so like uh, during the those things uh, if it is identified they will be storing those issue, uh, issues along in this particular object so like uh, clinical issues detected so like uh, these are like like what kind of uh, health issues like um, uh, like uh, mandatory like majority they'll be storing all the uh, what the uh, like uh, the hospitals or the doctors face in uh, in this uh, clinical detected issues so this uh, next the clinical encounter diagnosis is nothing but records for diagnosis made during technical encounters so like for uh, document patients conditions and guide treatment so that from this data mentioned in this part so we can further Uh, just move for the uh, required details which are required for his treatment so what kind of facilities do they need for, uh, like uh, it is completely healthcare facilitating for the patient so encounter identifiers so like these are the identifiers are assigned to the clinical encounters used for tracking and managing uh, patient interactions on the records like uh, uh, like if you are uh, for example if you are even if you are uh, doing with the program or any treatment so like uh, how what is the response from the patient end so we can get the details from the patient end and we can store them and we can use uh, further for our uh, further uh, like cure, like further cat journey so the like uh, these are similar okay uh, then clinical uh, service request okay so the clinical service request or nothing but the like uh, procedures during the clinical encounters facilitating the organization and deliver the patient care like uh, they cannot uh, like uh, without any confirmation or like um, without any confirmation uh, any doctor or nurse cannot proceed with the like any kind of services by themselves without consulting with the higher officials so like initially they have to show the request on all these things so uh, those dates will be stored over here so clinical measures criteria okay <laughs> clinical measures criteria nothing but uh, standards or the criteria used for used to evaluate the clinical measures so ensuring that patient's care meets the established guidelines and the quality metrics so these criteria will be stored under this particular object and the other thing you might have seen is these are the things related in clinical data model let's get into the next data model that is the insurance and claims data model so this is the insurance and claims data model for example you might see lot of uh, objects like purchaser um, payer uh, i have told you uh, like what is it is in the beginning of this session so apart from this 
there are objects like plan plan benefits plan benefits details so by an example i can give you like habitus related so for example uh, let us take a company like abc uh, corporation so like like it is having a large employer purchase that uh, like that company is purchasing this particular set of uh, insurance so they are the actual account they are the purchaser so coming to the payers the health insurance in that is the from where they have got as the payer managing the insurance claims for the abc uh, company employee so coming to the plan so plan is nothing but the for example uh, if the abc corporation uh, standard health plan it is a standard health plan for all the employees so like those uh, like the specific plan which is required for the their employees can will be be uh, like will be stored in as a plan so like uh, when when it comes to benefits this includes like the this one you can able to see so this when it comes to plan benefits so this just stores the benefits such as coverage for the special visit uh, hospitalization uh, like even for the checkup will it cover all those things so like like the benefits plan benefits it will be stored in the plan benefits object so plan benefit details are nothing but so how, like for example if you're going like so this member coverage okay member plan uh, member plan are uh, nothing but like uh, for example there may be uh, a very large employees a very large count of employees in that particular uh, corporation so like for example if smith is an employee he registered for the plan so his detail will be stored in the member co- member coverage object so which will be which you will be able to see against the plan is the plan object so coming to the coverage benefits so coverage benefits are nothing but like for example if he is able to uh, like he uh, from this plan uh, he covers a visit to a cardiologist with specific coverage conditions uh, like any other his health related therapist or the specialist he can uh, those details can be covered in the coverage benefits and it's detailed view like it's uh, like it it's uh, a benefits amount like how much it can be claimed or how much it, uh, how much he has to give so those details can be covered in the coverage details so like uh, a prior details or nothing but uh, the uh, service prior and the pre auth details now service prior is nothing but uh, for example the cardiologist office submits a pre authorization request to the health insurance companies for a cardiac uh, procedure uh, for the like they it is like uh, it is completely related to the uh, to the specialist who is taking care of the uh, patients so they will be uh, submitting the pre authorization request to the uh, insurance uh, company like at early stages of that they will be taking care of him so it is like those details will be uh, will be included in the service pre auth uh, object so when it comes to pre auth details like it includes a uh, what code uh, that cost particular cost those uh, additional details he wants to include can be included in the pre auth details so these are similar to claims what claims what diagnosis based on the diagnosis and all those things i can show you this in article in the insurance based uh, objects are uh, are are a uh, few um, only few in this so like for example you have only four uh, insurance related objects like insurance codes contracts policies uh, insurance uh, interface insurance policies all those things i hope you will be familiar with uh, these uh, words okay let's now move into the next data model that is the program management data model so like on the program management data model like it is nothing but as i already told you like uh, many healthcare organization will be organizing cat programs uh, one second let me confirm like whether it's like uh, i just want to make sure like whether it is come that is already integrated or so like uh, so in my knowledge uh, so these objects are will be already available in the org but those datas uh, will be integrated to the uh, uh, like uh, corporations like which are using that so like like if the hospital is using like uh, health lines uh, claim diagnosis it will be given by them so like in such way they are i'm mentioning it as external object so like if it is in detail i like by session i can just uh, like take scenarios uh, that covering the external object and i can explain you like that next comes our program management data model as i was telling about that so like like uh, this cat programs are nothing but a orga- uh, few healthcare organization will be organizing a lot of cat programs so like for the patients uh, a- about a specific scenario like you might uh, been uh, like you might have uh, been like you might see like in even in day to day life you might have seen uh, cat programs for the uh, like eye checkup or the like uh, heart related things or cardio so everything they'll be conducting lot of programs so these details can also be tracked in this health cloud so like uh, in this our cat program is nothing but like for example if they are if they are uh, like if they are uh, organizing a cat program for the uh, eye checkup and obviously they have to uh, make a budget uh, expenses and uh, like uh, they also tra- uh, like they also have to track the cat program team members like uh, who are going to get included in this cat program and uh, like uh, enrollment like who are going to uh, 
like who have been enrolled in this uh, particular program so like cat plan templates like what they are actually going to deliver to the to the peoples so how it is beneficial to them so like uh, um, cat program enrollment cards these objects are already present in the says for self cloud so like based on their needs uh, they'll be storing the data in the respective uh, objects okay here there are lot of objects like for cat plans like basically uh, this uh, cat uh, programs uh, will will be stored in many of the uh, objects based on their need so i can give you a short overview on the main objects alone okay here uh, you might able to see the cat program campaigns that it manages marketing and the outreach campaigns for the cat programs so the eligibility rules are nothing but the eligibility criteria like uh, to attend and to just get into the uh, cat program uh, sessions so the set of cat programs they are uh, organizing uh, like will it will be stored in this particular object so cat request request items so these uh, will also include in the loyalty uh, program uh, currencies like program en- engagement so like Uh, uh, like uh, badges or nothing but loyalty program badge for example loyalty program badges or nothing but uh, awards and the tracks badges uh, earned during the particular program so they will be offering some uh, like rewards like like that will be also tracked in this uh, particular object so apart from that so promotions so from the term itself we can will be able to identify uh, like a specific like what is their specific need so next is our uh, social determinants data cloud so they are nothing but uh, uh, this model helps uh, determinants so allowing us to provide the gain insight on the physical environment like like factors it gains us to it helps us to gain the knowledge on the patient's physical environment social factors uh, that is uh, like that is affecting or restricting him uh, him to overcome the like the injury or the thing what he is undergoing for example the cat determinants like or nothing but like here i told you like if uh, like if the smith is undergoing like leg injury he have to go some treatment like uh, based on the cat plans goals and tasks he had to undergo some treatment those are planned work from the uh, that is the from the uh, hospital perspective like maybe it may be uh, like uh, the provider's perspective so but when coming to the patient perspective too so he may feel apart from the health uh, like health issues he may also have some barriers in his personal life so that he cannot he cannot do that for example if you want to keep your mind and body fit uh, people go to gym so if uh, like few people were not or not in conditions to afford uh, the gym so like so uh, like this is a kind of example so like for example um, in similar ways there are other conditions also so like if there is any barrier for the patient to overcome his scenario like those details will be stored in the um, cat barrier determinant so they will be also assigning uh, like creating task to overcome uh, like uh, how can the patient overcome from that particular scenario so these can be tracked uh, in this particular objects these are social determinants it is basically uh, how Uh, the environment and the lifestyle uh, lifestyle factors that is uh, there are affecting the patient to overcome the specific uh, like health issues he is facing from next is the utilization management data model so this utilization management uh, is basically a process that evaluates the efficiency and the medical necessity of the treatment services and the uh, facilities provided to the patients on the uh, case by case basis so like they will be uh, like it just ensures like whether all the proper task or the goals treatments appointments uh, Uh, uh his all tasks are met properly so those things are uh, like covered in this utilization management data model so for example uh, cat request so you might see an object named cat request so for example um and uh, like uh, dr smith is a primary uh, let's take uh, smith or sam as the primary care physician so submits a cat request to uh, john a patient for a electric surgery so this uh, like it is just just giving the request for the it is the link between relationship between the providers and the uh, patients so for undergoing the uh, health treatments so that it helps them in overcoming the health issues they are facing so this everything will uh, like these things are we, the, these objects we have already seen in the previous data models like kind of coverage benefits like member plans insurance first view and all those things so this utilization management when you search for it you will be just it will be there in the separate app itself you can just by clicking on this so here you are able to see the ob- objects linked to the utilization management by default by the uh, salesforce health cloud in itself how does health cloud differs from the traditional salesforce crm so like if it is uh, traditional salesforce crm is nothing but like um, uh, okay so like basically if you like it is completely it is a salesforce health cloud and we in salesforce we also have a uh, sales cloud service cloud and all other things so like its purpose it is getting varied for example uh, I, i just told you uh, 
a huge list of objects that are there in the uh, this particular uh, demo org like that is for the salesforce health cloud org but whereas you cannot see this uh, objects in the normal or the traditional salesforce org so like uh, if i have all the details separately or in a, on a, a proper manner uh, you have to create objects and uh, uh, like you for like you like there will be a, uh, it will be very clumsy to store all the uh, related data in one single main data, uh, main record or the uh, main patient record so like uh, when you just uh, like when you just uh, split or just manage uh, the details separately for example uh, these uh, patient details separately like what task they have done to go they what is their actual goal so like how i explained so if these factors are tracked uh, separately it will be very helpful for the uh, organization and the patient uh, also so there will be a very good uh, interaction and they will feel uh, the patient would feel obviously good by their services provided so that is what i am telling to tell so even in the uh, initial slide i have showed uh, showed you all on the companies which are using uh, salesforce health cloud and how it how it benefited them so like there we uh, were able to see like it was it's it saved us around 400 plus hours for uh, for the uh, like uh, cat treatments or those things so so like these are the things when you start using uh, a specific kind of scenarios it will be very helpful as per by default health cloud app available no like when you get into the learning app uh, there you'll be able to see the list of i hope you'll be able to see the list of like payers providers uh so uh, like uh public health so in that factor you'll be able to see them so once after uh moving to the app launcher you can just check on the objects and you can just explore on that the straight up will not be uh, available in the i hope it will not be available in the uh, trilogs